guys. Good afternoon. It's Bill with Competition Cars. So now we're going to do a driving video on this 1978 Lincoln Mark V Diamond Jubilee with 6,900 original miles. This is a one-owner car. The title is still in the original owner's name from 1978, which is incredible. Beautiful paint. The car has been paint corrected. I talked about a couple of minor blemishes here and there on the paint. Very minimal. I want Christian to go around the car in the natural light so you guys can see how nice it is. I wish it was a little sunnier today. The car does have a lot of nice metallic to it. But look how fresh and clean and straight this car looks. All the chrome, no pitting, crystal clear. The vinyl on the trunk on the rear deck lid here is perfect. The vinyl top is perfect. All the bright work is perfect. Nothing's, no major dents or dings anywhere. And look at the paint, look at the shine, look at the straight body. Just an awesome, awesome car. Hey, this is designed, uh, Diamond Jubilee with a real diamond. And this has got this beveled glass, which is pretty cool. And they put a lot of extra effort in this car. This is a $20,300 car, brand new, in 1978, which was, was a lot of money back then. Matching wheels are in impeccable condition all the way around. So let's hop in and go for a ride. We'll go over all the features on the car as well. Interior. I love the center console. So we'll start with um, the equipment on the car. Horn works. Front driver's side window working perfectly. Front passenger window working perfectly. It does have some light tint on the car. <coughs> God bless. It gets uh, hot here in the south. So the previous owner lightly tinted the windows, did a good job on it. The car was uh, recently serviced. So it's all up to date with service. Power seat on my side, front, back, up, down, both tilts work. The, pop, the driver mirror, wand, stick works. The passenger mirror works as it should. Um, wipers, they work as well. Headlights work. Um, power door locks work. I did two, I had to do uh, two power door lock actuators. Miles to empty, 130 miles to empty. That works. You hit the button, it tells you how much uh, time you got left. Look at the wood, all the wood around the steering wheel. This will confirm that the low mileage, most of the time the edge of the wood gets cracked or faded. This is pristine and perfect. And you can tell this is an upgraded interior. The dash is wrapped, it has upgraded materials on the door panels. Um, got the original owner's name on the dash there, the plaque on the dash, which matches the title, which matches the initials on the uh, um, the doors, you hit this button, it opens here, you have a factory CB, AM FM quadrasonic stereo, and then in here, very Rolls Royce-ish, it's got a slide out umbrella from the factory, which is very cool, still in the wrapper, I don't know that it's ever been used, we'll slide that back in, and this is stuff that gets missing along the way, sometimes people will snatch this stuff or doesn't get put back right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my seatbelt on because some of you guys do complain about me not wearing my seatbelt. So I'm gonna do that. Lincolns and Caddies, that's for you, buddy. You called me on the seatbelt last time, so I told you next driving video I'll put the seatbelt on. Air is blowing cold. And then somebody else also complained about the air being on too high. So let's take it down a notch. Let's go for a ride. The only thing that I see that does not work on this car is the clock. The power antenna works. I'm not going to play the radio. I, I'll tell you it works. There's the antenna. Look how fast it goes up. It's got the built-in CB antenna in it. it goes up. Show that, Chris. Go yep. down. <laughs> All right. Chris is a little under the weather. He's got a little sinus situation going on. So if you hear him yeah. sniffling, that's what the deal is. Oh boy, it's not feeling too good. Flawless power steering. This is a 460 V8 with a four barrel. We did service the air. We had to top it off a little bit of Freon. The car set for many years, but it has been converted. So it looks like it's got a new compressor on it. And correct Schrader valves. But as of right now, the air is blowing cold. We're gonna check the cruise control and make sure it works. We had a run of cars here recently with the cruise control not working. So 
hopefully this one works like it should. But I mean, the car is just all here. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a true time capsule. It's in really nice shape. It drives nice and smooth. The brakes feel good. And there should be a receipt um, in the picture gallery showing what we did. I think they did a fuel filter, some fuel lines, the oil change, uh, the door lock actuators, and then they give it a once over to make sure that it doesn't need anything else. And the previous owner, although he didn't drive it much, he did take care of the car on a regular basis. He had his own shop. He owned a, a big salvage yard in North Carolina. And um, so a lot of his guys did the in-house work on the car over the years to maintain it. I mean, but with 6,000 miles on it, I mean, there's not much to that would have need, needed to have been done. So we're going to go up a little further ahead, turn around, step on it, so you can see that the car does accelerate like it should. Now let's go ahead and check the cruise. So I'm going to turn the cruise on. Hit set. And accelerate. Let's see if this is working. Cruise on and set. So was this three out of four? The cruise isn't working. All right, guys, I got another one with the cruise control not working. So we'll put our eyes on it. If we get it working, we'll let you know. If not, I'm disclosing that as of right this second, the cruise is not working check I guess we'll check the fuse and the lines connection under the hood to make sure that they got unplugged. I like at least the GMs there's a, a light that lights up when your cruise works. I don't think Ford or Lincoln had that. My what I recall. I don't see any additional so let's turn around here. Big family of ducks and those ducks with geese. Christian's not very talkative today. Uh, <laughs> All right. I don't like seeing my boy not feeling good. All right, so let's turn around. Let's step on it. Head back to the shop. Let's see what we got here. 464 barrel. Turn signals left and right both work. There's a four barrel kicking in. I mean, it's, it's respectively powerful for, for what this size car is. Passing gear, I've just got a partial throttle, so it keeps down the passing gear good. Let's try this cruise one more time just for the hell of it. On, set. Yeah, oh, there we go. Uh, all right, guys, cruise is working. It is working. Yes, it's working. Awesome. I think so, it could have been you pushing the uh, buttons. And I might have been, yeah, I, I'm, Christian says that, you know, I keep hitting the buttons. I think a lot of times as I'm turning it on and trying to get it to work and hitting it back off again. So the cruise does work. So scratch that last statement. So the only thing in the car that does not work is the clock. And I can confirm with certainty that the clock doesn't work. So check it out, guys. This will be on Bring a Trailer. You're going to see this video first on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Make sure you subscribe because then you're going to get a notification every time we put a new car uh, a new video up so and then and a lot of times you'll see cars in the background that you guys might have interest in that we haven't posted yet so it's a good way to kind of keep track of our inventory and stuff so and i don't put any of these cars on my website i find that bring a trailer is the largest audience to put these cars in front of and some of you guys get a little a little worked up it's like hey why can't i just why, why not advertise them on your site again it's because I need to put the cars in front of the most knowledgeable, largest, and qualified audience, and they happen to be on Bring a Trailer. So that's just how my business model is. I apologize if you don't like it, um, but you guys are always welcome to call me. Tell, me, tell me what you want. If I haven't, haven't listed it yet on Bring a Trailer, or if I need to get it for you, I'll be happy to sell you the car before it goes through the auction. But once I submit the cars and they're committed, then they're committed. So check it out, guys. It's an amazing car. Go across that hood one more time. Look at that paint. Just freaking beautiful. And I get excited over a lot of my cars, but I'm really excited over this one. I 
just I love the Diamond Jubilee, and I love the uh, the low miles and the one owner and the title still being in the original owner's name from 1978, which is pretty stinking cool. So check it out, guys. Have a great day, and good luck bidding.